Research and monitoring revolution enhanced by artificial intelligence, powerful new features and functionality. Key media executives speak out. Hello and welcome wherever in the world you are watching. Welcome to the launch of XNews 3.0. My name is Hannelore Feit. I'll be your host for the next 30 minutes or so. We'll give an overview of what this new version of X News can do for you, why we're launching it, and which improvements it'll offer. We'll have guests answering questions. We want you to participate and let us know what your needs are. But first, let us take a look back at what has happened so far. X News is a powerful tool that monitors and searches many different feeds of information in one place. It's for any organization that needs to keep constantly up to date whether you're a newsroom, a company, or even a government. There's no need to waste time switching between different websites and systems. X News makes researching news stories up to 10 times faster. It hooks into feeds for news agencies, trusted social accounts, and websites, even your internal systems. The latest of everything is in one simple web interface on laptop, mobile, or tablet. You can search everything in one go. It's easy to monitor many different stories at once. X News lets you combine and filter feeds in many different ways. You can collect content and write notes and scripts which you can publish or share. X News, the one-stop shop for monitoring and searching. It's everything you need to know. With me in the studio is now Andreas Pongratz, CEO and co-founder of X News. Welcome, Andreas. Welcome, Anna Lorif, and also thanks for being the host today. A very warm welcome to all who joined the event, and a special thank you to our executive guests, who we will meet for a discussion a bit later, but also to my entire team that made all of this possible. We all hope that you will enjoy the event and are looking forward to your feedback on the new product highlights. Therefore, please respond to the questionnaires we will send out to participate in the drawing, but also send us your questions at the end of the product video. This past year, Andreas, has been hard for everyone, and I'm sure X News is no exception. What has been your strategy during these difficult times? Well, thanks for asking that question, Hannelore. Uh, we also have suffered as many as the industry did. We were hit in March with no in-person meetings, everyone working from home, no conferences, no trade shows. So it was really a bumpy time. And we suddenly were challenged to work on two very important topics, the product and how to reach out to the market. So what is new about the product? Tell us about it. Well, on the product side, we have laser focused on making significant improvements to it, both through features and AI technology. Now, with the big question on our machine learning component we had to address and come up with a solution for was the fact that every of our customer uses different sources, which we never know. We therefore needed to develop a system that is capable of training itself from the content of every customer's collections and sources. In other, In other words, are you saying that you're learning from your customers, from your clients? No, we are not because the customer has full control over their system. And we only help the users by analyzing the customer's content to make it available in the best manner. You also mentioned markets earlier. What are your markets? Where are your markets? Who is the product built for? The product is basically built for anyone who needs to be more efficient at monitoring and researching news information. When we look at typical customers, we're talking about news organizations, corporates, governments and PR marketers. You mentioned in the beginning that uh, the audience has a chance to win a Sachertorte or a bottle of Austrian wine. How can people watch, watching participate? Well, every participant will now receive an email with three questions. Please send them back 
add your personal questions to it, and then you will be participating in the drawing to either win a sacher cake or a great bottle of Austrian Grüne Weltliner. Okay, in that case, I'd say let's get going. News 3.0 offers users a unique and powerful option to start working with. We call it Now. Now analyzes content from your collections and summarizes articles into trending topics. A simple click on an interesting topic gets you a preview of all the associated articles. And if needed, you can create a story straight from here. Stay ahead and use Xnews as an intelligent briefing tool. You still do not have all your right sources your story needs? Deliver, our new service, gives you access to millions of articles from news sites every day. The fully integrated service delivers matching articles, filtered by terms of your choice, directly to your story. From now on, you can sort your search results not only by date and time, but also by relevance. Relevance in terms of your personal reading behavior, the reliability of the used sources, or your selected IPTC media topics. Of course, also any combination of those. Many posts contain only links to pages where full details are found. Our link collector ingests these links into Xnews and makes them searchable. Our timeline view allows you to view your stories graphically, identify peaks, and filter them by time using the zoom functions. More on this is a very powerful search feature. Instead of searching by keywords, you can just simply use an article to become your search. Xnews in this case will find similar articles to the one you selected. Xnews, the one-stop shop for monitoring and searching. It's everything you need to know. Now we'd like you to participate. We will send you an email. Take the time to tell us what you think fits your needs best before we get to our guests. Thank you for all the emails you've been sending. We'll try and answer some of your questions later. Keep sending them while I talk to our next guest, Jeff Rosica. He's CEO of Avid, and he's joining us from Boston. Hi, Jeff. Well, hello. It's a pleasure to speak with you, Hannah Laurie. Thank you very much, especially your fantastic career in TV journalism. It's an honor to be here with you. And thank you for being with us today. Um, let's talk about how the media world has changed or is changing. The pandemic has forced many news organizations to look at how teams work together remotely. I have experienced that. We all have experienced that. How has Avid helped them do that? And how do you think X News can help them? Well, it's a good question. Absolutely. I and mean, TV news operations all over the world and, and, you know, have been impacted by what's going on, obviously, in the last year. But just in general, news has been through a pretty transformative time in the middle of that today. We use Media Central or the Avid Media Central platform is really kind of the behind the scenes tool that helps the news teams and the production teams work faster. It really is the key for how people are able to work in new ways, collaborate, you know, around the world as, as news, news organizations already 
already do, but now doing it in ways where you've got to really it's imperative that people are able to do remote access and work in very distributed ways, even more so than than was you know in the past. Uh, X News is a really important part of our offering. You know, we, Media Central is an open platform that Avid has a number of tools within the platform, but X News is a really important part of that, and it plugs right into the Media Central platform through our cloud UX, and it really enables news contributors from anywhere to be able to, you know, build comprehensive and robust stories with a lot of speed and being complete and, quite frankly, being there first because that, you know, counts in news. And so, and this is not only around text, but but video and graphics integration, and and it really makes for a very powerful news storytelling tool set when you take X News uh, inside of the Avid Media Central platform. Now, there's so many sources of information and so many publishing platforms. What are customers looking for when it comes to deliver, delivering news now? Well, obviously, as I said, they're looking for speed, but they're looking to do this uh, and they're striving for real efficiencies. And they're looking for time saving approaches. And if you look at, you know, the, the way I can only imagine in, in your industry, uh, Hannah Laurie, is that, you know, the new challenges of COVID, it, it's, you know, made things happen a lot more, a lot quicker. The story uh, cycles are, are compressing and a lot of sources of information are coming from social. And so the ability, you know, teams are under pressure to monitor what's going on out there in the social world, to gather that information very, very quickly, figure out what's relevant, what's not, and be able to, to really, uh, again, very quickly from one platform, allow them to be able to really do that, that aggregation of social information and, and help tell the story they want to tell. And with Media Center, we really help them do that in, in one place. And in your experience, what are journalists looking for to help them with their jobs? Well, again, I think that, you know, um, we, we find X News a very powerful tool set, and especially the new product, the X News 3.0, which is really an amazing tool set. Um, it, you know, it really, they, they need the tools to get their job done much faster, and they need the tools to be able to produce the news and, and really, to, you know, to look for the services, to look for the, the sources of information, to verify the sources, to bring the information they can trust together. And, and you know, where they can use AI or where they can use, you know, powerful tool sets are really important, again, because this is the sheer magnitude of information that if you think about what comes across social media today and the number of social media outlets and sources, to be able to have a tool that can gather the information really quickly or very rapidly and be able to, to get again to the heart of a story quicker is really pretty important. And so we, and we think X News is a, a really a, a leading tool in our industry to help do that. Working for TV and radio, I do know what you're talking about. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thanks for being with us today and taking this time. Ooh, thank us. you, Anna-Laurie. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Our next guest joins us from Dubai. Philipp Lenzel is with Quest Media. Most of you may know this company. Here's a quick look at how Quest Media integrated X News as a core component into the Bloomberg Ashard newsroom in Dubai. And with Philip, I'll discuss what it's like to work with X News, with the team of X News. Hi, Philip. Hi, Hannah. Nice to meet you. Uh, Philip, you've worked with X News on various projects. What's your experience with the team? Well, I have to say that the experience in, in deploying X News together with the team was really great. So we built together the Bloomberg Shark station in, in Dubai, and we had quite a lot of uh, complicated integrations to solve, but with the team and uh, their experience that they brought to the table, we could manage all of the challenges that the project put uh, in front of us. And in the end, I think the customer has a really great experience for the newsroom environment now. Do you have a favorite feature of X News um, and what is it? 
Well, I'm not a personal newsroom user, but I think what has resonated most with the team at Ashark is actually the versatility of connectors that are offered by XNews. I think one special thing is really the integration uh, with WhatsApp. So we can subscribe to WhatsApp groups and receive texts and receive media via that. But of course, there are also in, in the recent COVID times, there has been a need to integrate with the Mayo Clinic uh, for all the medical data and recent updates on the, uh, on the health situation, which has become quite important. And in addition, the the ability of X News to pull in all of the wire feeds, uh, including the image feeds from various agencies like AP, Reuters, and so on, that has been also a great added value to the to the overall news gathering process at Ashark. X News uses subscriptions. What makes a subscription model future proof? Well, I think um, the subscription model in the end provides the customer a pre-planned OPEX cost uh, for the running year and for the following year uh, and includes already already uh, needed SLAs uh, that go along with that. So there is no uh, hidden cost or anything in that. So it's all there and you always have an active SLA and the Exynos team will be able to support you in any case. Philip, thank you for your insights and thank you very much for being with us. Best wishes to Dubai, where I'm pretty sure it's a little warmer than here in cold Vienna. I'd like to introduce now Jonathan Krim, a journalist specialized in technology with lots and lots of experience. He's joining us from beautiful San Francisco. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, what difficulties do you, as a journalist, usually face in digital research? Well, there are so many sources out there now, and not only is it a volume problem, but it's a quality problem, right? You have to try to pick your way through uh, a lot of sources that are uh, full of misinformation. Um, they're not properly uh, reported in any way. And so what X News provides is uh, a much more disciplined way of going through sources that are credible and aggregating those into your field of vision for your research. Uh, and where's the typical workflow of a digital journalist heading these days? Well, it's uh, more and more mobile. Uh, you're, you're not necessarily in the office. You're having to do everything on small devices. Um, that can be a challenge, particularly when uh, you have so many sources that you need to look at and you're moving from browser to browser and app to app. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you have an integrated platform like X News uh, that puts everything in front of you in a way that is easy to manage, it's extremely important. Is there such a thing as a priority, a number one feature that uh, needs to be encounter? Well, I think X News has a lot of very important features and sometimes it's not always the sexiest ones that are the most important. Uh, obviously, some of the new features now, um, including the way you can sort by relevance uh, and you can put everything into um, one story panel from uh, regardless of whether you've chosen those sources, that's very important. But I think the platform also provides collaboration capability that is extremely important and I think gets overlooked. Um, most of the publishing platforms that are in certainly the American media space uh, focus on production. Uh, they're really built for the editors uh, and the power of X News is that it also is a very powerful research and reporting tool as well as integrating all of those other things. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much for giving it, giving us your perspective as a journalist and best wishes to San Francisco. My pleasure. Thank you. Here is Andreas again, and this is the moment when I'd like to thank you for all the questions you've sent in. Andreas will answer them. Are you ready? I will try to, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first question comes from Christopher. How does the upgrade for existing customers work? Thank you very much, Christopher, for the question. A quick answer. Uh, Xnews 3.0 will be available as a subscription. And for customers who are un under a subscription contract with us, they will get uh, an offer for the 
slightly increased price with the all all the, the, the services that you just saw in the 3.0 product video for the customers who have bought the system as a perpetual license we are work, going to work individually with them because some of them have started a few years ago some just started and we want to make sure that they get some credits on what they invested already Next question from Marlene. What technologies do you use now? Are Google or Twitter trends involved? <laughs> well, what I simply answer, none of them is involved with all being developed in-house. Tobias has a question. How does Deliver work? Which websites does it search? Okay, so basically the system is aggregating from 200, nearly 200,000 public news websites globally. And once we have all the assets in, which are between two and a half and three and a half million assets and articles per day, we are going to deliver only the ones to the user's story that are matching their queries. So simply explain, two, nearly 200,000 websites, we bring in assets every day. Okay, we have another question from Valerie. Can I select a specific region in Deliver? Oh, thank you, Valerie, for that question. Currently, it's not yet implemented, but what I can already guarantee is that it's possible. It's going to be an update during the next couple of weeks or months. And John is asking, if I create a story with now, does the story include all related articles? Absolutely, because the articles that now is generating trending topics from are coming from your internal repositories already. Okay, and final question for today. Frederick asks, how does sorting by reliability work? Oh, that's a very tricky, tricky question. And I'm kind of would like to follow up in person with Frederick. But the um, simple answer is that when there is when you when you feed in specific sources into the system, um, it is either taking the reliability level from the uh, entire basket of that source, or you can, as an administrator or super user, rate that um, single uh, source higher than all the others. And the second phase is when you're using specific sources more often than others, those are increased on reliability levels. Thank you, Andreas, and thank you for keeping your answers to the questions short, most of them at least. Um, the, the questions <laughs> we could not answer today will be answered in writing by Andreas or by one of our guests if you have questions for them. And there's one last item for today. We do have winners for Sachertorte and the Austrian wine, and you can see their names, their first names at least, in the scroll. Uh, if you are one of the winners, you'll be contacted after the event. Andreas. Yes, absolutely right. Thank you very much for joining today's webcast. Uh, share it online if you know somebody who could be interested in it. And wishing you a great day. Thank you, Hannelore, for being such a great host. And I'd like to thank also Jonathan, Jeff, and Philip, our guests, for joining us for the launch of X News 3.0. Stay tuned to get the latest on what's coming in the future. Have a good afternoon or a good evening, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Thank you.